Hi, this is Greg Maisley with MaisleyAssociates.com. I'm going to give a brief overview today about search engine optimization. Um, I have 16 years experience in information technology, computer and network consulting as an IT manager, a network engineer, and a network administrator, a web designer, web developer, and search engine optimization and search engine marketing specialist. As you can see, this is our website. Um, a lot of times I have clients and customers that ask me to take a look at their website and what a lot of people don't realize and businesses don't realize is the difference between how a person sees your website and how the search engine see your website so that's what I'm going to cover today and then later on I'll have lessons getting more into how to achieve higher rankings for search engine optimization and search engine marketing and the major search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo. First off, you want to obviously have a site that's well designed, that's user friendly, easy to navigate, um, hits right away with a call to action such as this and content rich keywords that drive customers to your website, links, and so forth. Um, you also want to make sure that your company for your service or product has a Facebook presence, a LinkedIn presence, and a Twitter presence, and that you've got reciprocal links back and forth between your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and your website. Um, now again, this is how a person views our website, and this is how a search engine actually views our website. Um, search engines don't see anything really but text that's what they're grabbing they're grabbing text from your website they don't see the pictures unless you've tagged them with a keyword description and that's part of SEO that I'll get into more in depth later this is just a brief overview basically our website has a Google page rank of three most starting out websites just have a one or two page rank um, we've got meta tags, title, description, keywords, we've got a robots.txt file and a sitemap.xml file which are important to search engine optimization, will be covered later. Um, you want to use descriptive keywords in your uh, meta tags, title, description, and keywords. Um, and then also, of course, um, you want to have a fast loading website. We use WordPress and I highly recommend it for search engine optimization. That's what I use for our own website and for our client websites, and it gets a tremendous response for Google, Bing, and Yahoo ranking in the search engines. It's got a fast load time of one second or under, which has recently become important to search engine optimization and ranking. Um, this is how a search engine actually views our website, and it's keyword rich, as you can see. Um, a person sitting at Google, Bing, or Yahoo and typing keywords in isn't going to type in your company name unless you're a very large company like IBM or Microsoft. They're going to be typing in keywords and you want to think about the keywords that you want customers to be able to find you under for your SEO, SEM um, strategy. So for example, we repeat the keywords computer repair, computer service, computer support, Orange County, Los Angeles, California in there. And then um, later on we'll get into anchor tags here and also image alt tags which are how to convert pictures to keywords that the search engines will actually pick up here. These are actually pictures that we've tagged and assigned keywords to so the search engines will pick up on that. And then we've got rich content in there for our highly targeted descriptive keywords like computer repair network you want to have a keyword density in your content of anywhere between two to six percent for the search engines and I'll get into more of that later. This is just a brief overview um, and if you have any questions um, in the meantime you can always reach us at maisleyassociates.com and our website or call us at 714-975-3656 or email us at info at maisleyassociates.com. Thanks.